Hey guys, my name is Anand and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Facebook split testing. A lot of times when a business is running Facebook ads, they always wonder what type of creative or placement or audience targeting is best for your business. And usually um, any business will start running multiple different campaigns and they try out different things and it gets really expensive. But with Facebook split testing, you can now make it easy to test different variables and try to find out what exactly is working for your business. And by conducting split testing, you can actually improve your performance and cost per acquisition by as high as 14%. So um, let's you know see how to conduct split testing and what are the different setting options um, and go through step-by-step -step process in uh, setting up a new campaign uh, that has split testing uh, as one of the key main setup. So um, when you log into Ads Manager, um, click on this Create Campaign button and um, generally, you know, the campaign objective or the marketing objective will fall under either awareness consideration or conversion. Um, so you can select any of the objective, but I recommend selecting either the consideration or conversion as your marketing objective. And under consideration, we can go ahead and take traffic as an example, because that's the usual type of, you know, campaigns that, um, you know, marketers run, whether it's promoting a blog post or, uh, bringing traffic to your website, uh, but you can do split testing on uh, you know any of these objectives. Uh, but for this purpose, let's choose traffic. Uh, and as soon as you select, uh, you have the field to provide a campaign name. So traffic, blog promotion. So I'm just giving a name. Uh, and as you can see, you have this option that says create split test. Um, and Facebook says that you can do A-B testing on your creative placement audience and delivery optimization strategies. So let's go ahead and enable this and hit continue. All right. Um, so as soon as you hit continue, Facebook will provide you like how the split testing will work. And to summarize what Facebook says is, uh, it will divide the audience into unique groups. So, which means that there won't be any overlap. And that is really important because your ad will be displayed to two different audience and the data that Facebook will collect, uh, it will try to be, you know, you know maximize for accuracy and it will be highly relevant. So all the data and the inf information that you're going to get, uh, that's going to be uh, very useful for, for you to decide what works and what does not work. Um, and um, the other thing to keep in mind is whenever you plan to run split testing, always try out with only one variable. So what I mean is um, your variable can be an ad placement, it can be your audience, it can be your creative or delivery optimization method. Um, and Facebook will make it mandatory for you to test only one variable. You won't be able to change, uh, you know, you won't be able to combine like audience and placement in one single campaign. Um, the only way you can combine is in ad creative. You can try out different call to action button, but um, what I recommend is if you are conducting A-B testing or split testing for audience, then keep your ad creative the same. The other thing is if you are conducting split testing for your placement options, then keep your ad creative the same. So um, that is what this you know pop-up box is. Um, and um, basically Facebook is saying that uh, it will measure the performance and compare. And, and it will also send you an email like which is the best performing ad uh, so that you can you continue running the winning ad uh, so, so that you can get maximum return. Uh, and also, you know, it, you'll get uh, an email notification containing the results. Um, so we, we can close this and let's move on. And this is where you select your variable. 
So, um, as I mentioned earlier, there won't be any audience overlap, which is really important. Uh, this will be a single variable test. So the ad sets will be identical except for the variable you want to test. Um, and you will also get an email notification uh, when the test is over. So let's uh, choose um, placement as an option um, because I want to show you uh, what you can do with uh, placement testing. Um, so I've selected placement as an option and um, I will take a real example of uh, what what you can uh, test. So uh, when you select automatic placement, uh, obviously Facebook will you know show your ad on all the different platforms like Facebook, Instagram, audience network, and Messenger. But generally, people want to know uh, whether it's better for them to promote on Facebook feed or Instagram feed. The other type of question they have is whether they want to show their ad on Facebook feed or Facebook audience network or if they want to combine Facebook feed and audience network in one campaign uh, or uh, as compared to running a separate ad campaign focusing just on Instagram feed so you know you can actually get all the different answers by by running a, a, a split test uh, for different placements so let's move ahead and click edit placement and in this example, I'm gonna create. Now I'm gonna choose only Facebook feed. So I'm um, so I'm gonna uncheck everything, and I'm gonna select Facebook feed. So that's gonna be my ad set A, um, which will focus on only Facebook feed. So my ad will be shown only on Facebook feed. That's my variable A or version A. Now. I'm gonna move on and choose my ad set B. So that's the, the B version or version two. And under version two, I'm gonna click on edit placement and I'm gonna find out if my ad works well on Instagram feed. So basically what I'm doing is I'm comparing my performance for running, running an ad on Facebook feed uh, and the second ad is running an ad on Instagram feed. So that's how you know you are testing two different ad placement. Um, you can even create another test ad in the same campaign. Um, so let's say you know I I uncheck everything, and then my third test is regarding Messenger. So I'm gonna uncheck this. All right. So the third ad set is going to show my ad only on Messenger. So that's how you know you're comparing like three different ad placements. And look at this, the budget will be split like equally, 33.3. Um, so my daily budget is going to be uh, split in three different parts and it will be allocated equally uh, to each of those ad set. So everything else stays the same. The budget is the same. Um, you know all the optimization delivery optimization method is the same the only thing that we are testing over here is ad placement so that's you know one way to do it and uh, in terms of audience you need to keep it the same for each of those uh, you know ad placement uh, so that's why you won't get any variations to test in this case uh, your audience is going to be the same so you can either select a saved audience or you can, um, you know, choose a custom audience or a lookalike audience. Um, it's up to you. Like, what do you want to, um, you know, test out? Um, but your audience is going to be the same um, for for this kind of testing. Um, and moving on, um, your delivery optimization is also going to be the same. Um, you again have like four different options. Uh, you can optimize for landing page views, link clicks, impressions, daily unique view, um, and as mentioned earlier, your budget, like my daily budget, budget is eighty dollars. Um, so uh, it's going to evenly split between three different ad set. Um, so that's how you know you can run uh, a, a split, split test campaign, campaign um, for trying out different placement. placement. So let's go back and um, choose a different variable. 
So I'm going to use um, audience in this case. All right. Um, so my test A, I'm going to click on create audience. Uh, and again, you you have the option of selecting. So let's say you're trying out different audience. You want to find out um, whether your campaign works well if you retarget your website visitor. The second um, you know ad set will be focusing on a lookalike audience, and the third ad set can focus on a saved audience. So let's see how we need to do that. So I'm going to select uh, lookalike audience as my you know ad set A, and I'm going to choose my location as Florida so I'm gonna focus on Florida and you know age gender location we can keep everything as it is um, and then hit confirm all right so my ad set a is going to um, run ads and gonna target my custom audience uh, and and the audience is lookalike audience based out of my website visitors the second audience I'm gonna test is just the website website visitors so I'm gonna click on all website visitors 60 days and I'm gonna choose the location as Florida so everything I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep everything the same ah Florida all right all right everything else is the same hit confirm and the third one is I will just choose the location as Florida. So I'm not using any custom audience. Um, I'm just focus on. I'm just gonna focus on you know Florida as a state and and keep rest of the options as it is. And hit confirm. All right. Obviously, you know in this case um, either ad set A or ad set B will perform well because you are like targeting a pretty wide audience um, so it really depends on so you can actually um, choose either lookalike or custom website visitor audience because that makes more sense obviously um, but if you have a different custom audience then you can uh, click on test another ad, another ad set and use that in your um, split testing campaign um, so I think I'm happy with this uh, in terms of placement, uh, as I mentioned earlier, in this in this case you are testing audience, so you need to keep the placement uh, as it is for both the uh, you know audiences. So yeah, I'm gonna click on edit placement and um, all devices. That's fine. Uh, or you can use an you know, automatic placement um, and let Facebook figure out like what what are the best. Uh, placements for that ad so you have two options over here uh, in terms of delivery optimization um, link click is fine and then the budgeting option is again the same so it will be evenly split between the two different ad set okay so that's the second way of uh, how you can go ahead and test different audiences um, all right let's move on and I'm going to show you how to choose uh, delivery optimization as your variable so when you select delivery optimization as your variable um, you have again four different options uh, the first one is landing page views so basically um, Facebook will optimize your delivery so that it will target all the people who are more likely to complete a landing page view um, and what I mean is um, these are the people who will click on your ad and they will completely load your web page and hopefully consume the content um, so that's your first you know option the second option is link clicks so they will deliver your ad uh, to people most likely to click on them uh, and the third one is impression so basically the ad will be shown to people as many times as possible and generally you know this is useful when your marketing objective is brand awareness or reach um, I would say brand awareness and again the fourth one is the same uh, they will maximize your ad so that uh, your ad will be shown to people at least up to once a day uh, so that your ad uh, reaches a wider audience or maximum number of people so these two you know optimization is 
um, suitable for a marketing campaign that uses brand awareness or reach as the objective. Uh, but when it comes to conversion, um, you can go ahead and use landing page or link clicks. So let's click landing page page views uh, for ad set A, and then for ad set B, I'm going to choose link clicks. So that's how you know you're comparing two different uh, optimization method, uh, and and then as mentioned earlier, you you need to create your audience, you need to set your audience and your placement the same. Uh, for both the uh, versions uh, so that it's a fair comparison and your budget is again going to be split between uh, the two ad set um, so that's your third type of you know split testing and um, you know variable and the final way is to test a creative now when it comes to testing a creative um, you you don't get to get to choose the different version in this in this um, dashboard because you are under ad set and you can only change um, or set your creative when you're actually working on your ad so you can go ahead and select your audience uh, your placement your budget everything remains the same go ahead and continue and then when you are in your ad configuration dashboard this is where you will actually try out two different ads. So um, what I highly recommend is to either change the format. So in version A, you test out um, a different format. Say for example, you use an image uh, for the ad. In version B, you use a video. So that's how you can compare and test different formats. That's one type of testing uh, when it comes to testing out creative. The second type is you, you keep the format the same and then what you do is you try out different headlines. So that's the second type of um, you know ad creative testing. Um, because again, headline plays a critical role when it comes to click-through rate uh, and trying out your ad creative. The third type is you keep everything the same but then you change or you try out different call to action button. So um, always remember, you test only one variable at a time. Uh, but when it comes to creative, that's the front facing aspect uh, of your ad. So there are so many different aspects that can change your click through rate and how your ad performs. So format, um, you know, headlines and call to action button can be, you know, you can test each of them uh, with, you know, with, with different ads um, and then you can try to find out like what exactly is working for your business. So I think that's pretty much it guys uh, when it comes to split testing um, and I think it is one of the most powerful feature of Facebook ads because it, they have made it so easy to try out different versions. Um, and really figure out what exactly is going to work for your business because if you're starting out with Facebook ads and if you're uh, working in a niche niche industry uh, it's really hard to find out what exactly is going to work for you um, and since there are so many different options in terms of audience targeting in terms of placement creative uh, only by doing split testing uh, you can funnel down the best performing combination um, of ad set placement uh, and targeting for your business um, and then you can keep those parameters uh, for your next campaign and try to build on top of it so that's it guys for you know uh, split testing um, and how to perform split testing on Facebook ads um, if you have any questions let me know in the comment section I'm I'm gonna upload weekly digital marketing videos so make sure to subscribe to my channel any likes and comments are appreciated and I'll see you next time.